Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download latest Eclipse uh, to create either desktop application or a web-based application, right? So I'm talking about the Java EE supported enterprise uh, application supported uh, Eclipse. So to download the Eclipse, uh, just go to the Google and here you can type download Eclipse and press enter. This is the very first that is official website eclipse.org. So just click over here and you will be navigated on the Eclipse download page. And here uh, you can see right uh, here in left uh, basically box there is something is called download packages. Click over there. Then if you scroll down then here you can see there are various types of Eclipse are available. First, uh, Eclipse is Eclipse ID for uh, Enterprise Java and Wave Developer. So this, if you download this uh, Eclipse, then it will help you to create, you know, desktop as well as web-based application. Any kind of application you can create. This Eclipse is mainly uh, used to create a desktop application. Eclipse is also available to support some other languages like C, C++ right php and all so but we are interested uh, in this very first eclipse right that is us uh, that is uh, support to create a you know java uh, either desktop or web-based application so here in uh, right side you, you have uh, this eclipse for different operating system so as i want to download for windows so i'm going to click here if you want to you download for mac os or lex then corresponding link you need to click so click over here then here finally you need to click on the download okay and uh, here you can see download has started so as eclipse size you can see that is around 531 mb so that would take some time to download that uh, that also depends on your internet speed so let's uh, wait uh, to complete the download yeah now here you can see our download is almost completed so I'm going to to check my uh, download folder so just go to the download folder and here is the Eclipse so here I, I'm going to copy either you can do copy paste somewhere else or you can copy a later point of time or you can delete it from our download folders so I'm going to dump somewhere in the basically you know C drive or any drive uh, any your favorite drive right so in in the in, in software or oh, I'm going to paste it okay and now uh, as this is a zip right a zip folder so you need to extract it so I'm going to select ex extract all so extraction will take some time right the size is significantly huge so it will take a few a few seconds to basically extract now extraction is going to complete so this extraction process would take uh, around uh, three to four minutes because uh, file size of this zip folder is really uh, really big right around uh, half uh, gb so now uh, this got uh, basically unzipped and if you go to the inside the eclipse so first of all once uh, you get the unzipped version of this folder then go to inside and you have a uh, basically eclipse and here is the exe file right so better to uh, basically send this uh, basically to the uh, you know uh, you can send to the desktop itself so no need to come uh, again again here and click on this uh, to open eclipse right so i'm going to send on you know on the desktop itself so if i go to my desktop then here you can just see the shortcut so now uh, double click over here to open it so eclipse this is eclipse id uh, 2024 uh, 06 right so this is the very latest uh, you know eclipse id and uh, even if you have installed a latest jdk like a 21 jdk 21 that is going to support by this eclipse id so java usually releases a, a new version in every six months right and that's why you need to basically update with the eclipse uh, latest version as well right so I go to the uh, you know C drive and uh, there let's say work is Java workspace here I'm going to create a folder let's say core Java workspace something like that core Java sorry 
underscore java workspace you can give the any folder name and uh, just i'm going to create a you know workspace here itself sorry my machine got hanged so i'm in the core java workspace let me copy this location i want to create workspace at this location okay i don't want to go at default location just paste this location here and click on the launch so workspace is going to create on this location itself now let's wait for a few seconds it is going to create you know workspace on a specified path so here you can see uh, and now eclipse has uh, basically opened and here you can here you can create on any of the here link and you can create you know uh, project and otherwise next step is to uh, otherwise you can click on the file new and here you can you can see here, dynamic web based project also you can create any kind of servlet anything you can create right xml html everything right so i am interested to create you know a java project as of now so click on the java project click on the next just i wanted to make sure that this eclipse is going uh, working fine so that's why just i'm going to create a project uh, with the t name as test and here you can see it supports java ac as well right java it it supports up to java 23 right so now click on the next and click on the finish uh, click on the open perspective perspective is nothing but this layout is called perspective right let me create one uh, you know uh, one uh, uh, class with uh, let's say I would say kk.com and uh, let's say class name is called test with main method make sure this eclipse is working fine so that's why just I'm going to create a you know a uh, simple application with sysout okay and just i'm going to print hello that's it make sure that eclipse is working fine that's why i'm going to do this and here you can see hello got printed so uh, so that's that's the way you can download a latest Eclipse, right? Uh, if you have installed latest JDK and make sure that your Eclipse is, you know, supporting latest uh, uh, compiler as well, right? In that case, you need to download, uh, you know, a latest Eclipse. So that's all I wanted to show in this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.